Uh, all right. What's up, y'all? You already know how it go. It's your boy, Be Back, with another video, man. And a lot of us, a lot of us, we want to know how we find these people that are um, buying all the phones and uh, selling them to people. And uh, why we are not able to find phones at all, right? Number one, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you don't know who I am, my name is Brandon Jones, and I specialize in helping you make an extra income. And today, we're going to be talking about how to spot the top phone sellers. I call these people wholesale sellers. If you've ever watched me on my live videos, I show you how to spot these people on offer up. But, you know, I know that a lot of us, I want to really break down a misconception, especially in the phone flipping industry that I think a lot of us have. And we have this misconception because we are great people, right? And I, I, I really think that it's so hard to get into a business mindset when you're thinking like an employee. I'll just say it, right? And what I mean by that is being somebody from a household of integrity. Uh, it was so hard for me to jump into this phone flipping game and really start making money because I had to understand that it took a little bit of manipulation. And what I mean by that is sometimes I had to buy phones from people that I know didn't get them the right way. I'll never forget in, when George Floyd's incident was happening and looters had looted downtown. I, I'm located in Philly. I, I had a whole bunch of people come to me with demos. And I can I will never forget these people coming in. They had phones in the bag. And in the bag were literally demos with the like the, the, the displays on them. And I remember turning them down. And those type of people I'm not talking about. I just want to make that clear because that's absurd. Like that's completely unacceptable and dumb. Now, if you are somebody that will buy that, I mean, obviously you're dumb. That's traceable. That's bad. Okay. But I'm talking about the person that hits me up and says, literally true story. What's up? B? um, listen, I, I got some phones for you. I, I heard about you from so-and-so. Um, I'm going to be straight up with you. I, I get phones all the time. Um, I, I, I get in relationships and girls end up loving me and they end up getting me phones. That's none of my business. None. I've got probably this month and it is the, it's October the 11th. I probably got around 15 phones from this individual so far. And this individual has made me close to $3,000. Um, no, I'm tripping like four. Uh, I, I sympathize with people that want to do good business all the time and want to find people that are selling phones that they owned. A lot of these people are not selling phones they really owned, uh, especially when they're new or when they're, you know, still in the box and have the white plastic on them. A lot of the time they're using someone else's socials or a CPN or some type of method to get these phones. Listen, I see a lot of your fault, your favorite YouTubers that phone flip on YouTube, literally flaunting a hundred phones in the trunk, obviously that they got out of Apple swiping gift cards or got out of Apple using credit. That's probably not theirs or finesse the business account and started getting phones that way. Now, how do I know about this? I know about this because I talk to people that sell me phones because I want to know, like, are you somebody that's going to bring me phones on a consistent basis? If so, I'm going to save your number and I'm going to make sure that I send you a price list. <laughs> you feel me? Like, understand that this stuff happens. And again, you guys watch me because I'm honest. I'm not here to color coat. I'm not here to try and make it seem anything in what it is. Phone flipping is a game where if you can't take how people get the phones, don't ask. Um, me, I want to ask because some people I require, you give me the ID. You give me your ID because you're not going to get me caught up, right? Um, I have a homie. He, he, he flips phones too. And he flips phones in a really bad way. Like, and I tell him about it, but he don't want to listen. He, he'll take somebody that stole the phone and he'll, he'll, he won't get no ID. 
He won't do anything. He'll just buy it. He brought it one day. I'll never forget it. He brought a phone that was uh, stolen, I believe, at the club. He got the phone. Next day, next day, if some way, somehow, they literally steal his car. And they get the phone. They leave his car at the gas station. So, like, it's certain ways you want to go about it. And that's why I ask questions. Because if somebody says, yeah, I just I snatch and grab phones, I'm going to say, all right, bet, listen, I can't buy it. <laughs> but maybe some, somebody else can. I, I, I can't because... I would need your ID and you know, if uh, you know, the cops come here, they're gonna see your ID, you're gonna be in a whole bunch of trouble, bro. Like, nah, it ain't worth it. Um, so how to find these people that are kinda good, right? You can go on Facebook, you can go on offer up, there are a lot of on there are a lot on offer up. And you look for people that are posting pictures of phones still in the box. Most of them are always in the car. The reason for that is because when these people are getting these phones, they want to make a profit instantly. They want to find somebody that is going to offer them higher than their buyer. 99% of the people that go into stores to flip phones or to buy phones, excuse me, they're one, not buying the phones with for the price that the phones are worth. They're buying the phones for like taxes or they're cutting somebody um, some money to get them a phone in their account. So understand that's the reason why market value isn't as high as you think because buyers, wholesale buyers, international buyers already know how this is going. Buyers like me that are in the States already know how this is going. We know how you're getting the phones. Okay. So we're not going to pay you top dollar because we already know all you're paying is taxes, right? So if you look on a price list, if you don't have a price list, get the prices It's below. The phone flipping price. This is on hustlertaughtme.com. If you look at the prices and you see like an iPhone 14 worth $250, the reason that's worth $250 is because Verizon's giving it away for free, T Mobile's giving it away for free, all of these places are giving it away for free. And we know for a fact that there's people going into stores, trading in phones, um, there's people going into stores, using CPNs, using other people's credits, and they're getting these phones, they're paying $30 or $39 for taxes. Then they're trying to go and sell it. And we're going to offer you $250 because we know you're not paying the full amount. We know that. That's why prices are not ultra high right now. Because scamming is ultra high. Which means buyers can get these phones at low price points. Is it crazy? It is. And that's why I ask questions. And if it's something where I don't feel safe, I take ID. Because you might not be honest with me. But I try to give it to where everybody can honestly speak to me and let me know what's really going on so I can avoid any you know, mishaps, right? So you wanna look for the people that are on these sites, including Facebook, that are taking pictures of phone boxes or phones, but they're taking pictures of the, there's usually gonna be the box in the picture. There's usually gonna be no reason for them to hide the IMEI. They're not hiding the IMEI. They're keeping everything transparent because they want you to know exactly what you're getting because they don't want to go through the whole questionnaire. So, oh, it's locked. Does it have this? Does it have... They just want you to say, okay, I cash you out this. They'll say, uh, okay, that's $20 more than my buyer. All right, that's $10 more than my buyer. They'll take anything because nine times out of 10, their buyer is probably not in the state that they're listing. You know what I mean? So if you want to be a buyer in your area, get that price list. And I'm telling you right now, nobody will beat your price. And also, you have 50 buyers at your disposal. But you want to attack these people. You want to let them know that you do buy phones. Take ID if need be, if you don't feel safe. But I'm telling you, don't just discard of these people because you don't you don't understand how they're getting the phones. Ask and keep digging if need be. But understand, there's nothing for you to get in trouble with if you do the right things. Get ID, ask questions, make sure that you're writing a receipt when you are buying these phones. All of these things will help you. If you write a receipt, it shows that you actually did a transaction with a person having sign off on a receipt. They probably won't sign their own name. I like I'm telling you how it works, but it still gives you some type of paperwork. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys, and I hope you guys continue to make money work for you. I'll see you guys on the next side. Peace.